it's Joe Tamargo from SpaPumpRepair.com. We're here with another episode of Spa Pump Repair TV. I'm here with my boy Robert. What's up, man? All right, in today's episode, we are going to show you, okay, how to put a seal inside this Cal Spa single pump here, okay? Now, if you have a dually pump, you can check out our video channel and we'll try to do that. But today, we're going to be showing you how to put a spa inside the impeller. Take a little close up there. Okay, here's the impeller right there. All right, here's the old seal. So if you're wondering what went bad, you can see the seal is worn. You see that? All right? What happens when your seal dries out, these two pieces twist together, and they wear out, and they become uneven, and it doesn't make the seal in the shaft, okay? Today's episode is sponsored by PoolAndSpa.com. You can check out the cool t-shirts they sent us. Robert's got one right there, PoolAndSpa.com. So if you need a new pool pump, a new pool slide, you know, if you need some chemicals, go to PoolAndSpa.com. We'll give a little shout out here in the back of the shirt. There you go, PoolAndSpa.com TV. All right, so we're going to start this episode off, me and Robert. All right, so the first thing you're going to do now, Robert's going to show you, right? You want to get yourself some silicone, all right? There you go. Robert is going to take the new seal out of the box here. Now, if you need the seal, you can go to SpaPumpRepair.com and buy the seal for your cow spa. All right, so you can see we got a brand new seal coming out of the package. Here we go. All right, there you go. Here's the brand new seal. There's two parts to it, right, Robert? Mm -hmm. The one part, now Robert's going to, what are you going to do? He's going to have to remove this housing here. So the way you had to do that, Robert, you're going to remove these four through holes off the back. Yep. Go ahead and show them that. There you go, man. So while Robert loosens up the housing, I'm going to slide this one section of seal on here. Now what I'm going to do, since we have the mobile workstation here, I'm going to come a little closer so I can show you while Robert takes that apart. Okay. So what you want to do here, check it out. You want to get some seal lube and you want to pour it on the, uh, the shaft of the impeller just like that, okay? And then once you do that, that's going to lubricate the impeller shaft. Then what you want to do is stick your finger in there and get a little lubrication inside that, that little piece of rubber. And then you want to slide your seal just like that onto your impeller, okay? So that is one part of your seal that is now mounted onto your impeller. Robert's over here loosening up the back. And you know what I mean? We're pretty up close and personal here. But hey, Robert's over there showing you how to take it off. So once Robert gets those four through bolts out, right, Robert? Yep. He is going to take off that front seal housing. All right, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna silicone the seal seat into the seal housing, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the seal housing, tighten the impeller, and then put the front of the pump on. Okay, so Robert's just about done with that. I'm gonna grab some gas, you can use clear silicone or gasket sealer or something like that. You wanna put a little light amount on this pump here, okay? I'm done on the pump seal, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply a little bit of gasket sealer right here quick, all right? Robert is almost done with that. All right, so he's got the seal housing. I'm going to spread this silicone around. You want to just put a light coating just like this, okay? Right around. And then once you put a light coating on there, okay? There you go, man. So here you go. So here's your seal housing, okay? There it is. You're, I already removed the old seal. Here's the old seal, all right? We've already popped that old seal out. So what you want to do is keep your finger on it like this and kind of just slide it down just like that inside there, okay? Uh, now what we use is a little something called a seal tool. It's just a piece of plastic that we push, okay? And it pushes the seal right in. I'm gonna use it on the floor right here, okay? All right, now once you get that in there, you wanna make sure there's no silicone on your seal because if there's any silicone on your seal base or your seal seat, it's not gonna grip right, you know what I mean? All right, so this seal looks pretty good. I'm just going to make sure it's extra clean on the face here, which it is. All right, now Robert is going to screw this back together. All right, Robert, you got the marks there? Yep. All right, so Robert's now going to slip this back on, and then we're going to put the impeller on. All right, so there's a close-up look. Let me show you one more time. Up close, you see that? The seal's in there. You got the silicone on the back. You see that? All right, and you can see it in the front. So you got the silicone there. There you go, Robert. And then you got your section on the impeller. Because so many people always ask us in these videos, right? They're always like, dude, you guys never put it back together. So here we are putting it back together, okay? Because I know we have a lot of videos out there where we're like, and we're taking it apart real fast. But here's a video where we're actually putting it back together. Okay, remember, visit PoolAndSpa.com. Here we go again, PoolAndSpa.com TV. 
sponsored this episode. So if you need a pump, you need a slide, you go on over to uh, poolandspa.com. All right, so we're going to get back to Robert. Robert's going to put these through bolts back in. I'm going to put the impeller on right now. Okay, here we go. All right, so Robert's got that. Now you have a little cap in the back of the motor here that you can tap off with a flathead screwdriver like this. Move that box all the way so you can see what I'm doing and that cord. All right, so you can see here, and tap this off. Hold that, hold that. Uh, yeah, tighten those screwballs up quick. I'm gonna tighten those screwballs up real fast. I'm gonna get the impeller just started on here like this, okay? Now once you get these screwballs tightened up, we're gonna be able to tap that little cap off. There's a little uh, metal cap right in the back there. All right. Keep it going, brother. I tighten this up here. There you go. All right, so tighten the only through balls down. <clears throat> then get your flathead screwdriver. And you once again want to tap this little metal cap off like that. All right. Whoa. I don't want to hit Robert in the face. Even though some of our fans out there would like, probably like to see that, right? So like, hit him with the screwdriver. Hit him with the screwdriver. All right, so once you do that, you'll see there's a flat slot in the end here, okay? You want to take your screwdriver and set it in there to hold it. That way you can spin your impeller. All right, so Robert will hold that screwdriver. Go ahead. Once you do that, Robert's going to hold the screwdriver. You got it, man? Mm -hmm. You want to tighten this impeller onto the shaft that I so. Okay, there you go. Got it tight? All right, nice and tight. Once you do that, let go. You make sure your position is right. You can pop on your front piece like that. Make sure your impeller spins, okay? It spins freely inside. All right, and then what you want to do is start grabbing your bolts. Remember, there's one long one that goes in the back here, just like where I'm working here. And then Robert's going to finish tightening the through bolts, and that's it. So if you have a cow spa pump just like this, a T145, Power Right Industries, okay, you need a repair, you can send it in. Bearings and seals only. Tell them, listen, we've had problems in the past. We only change bearings and seals. So if your motor is humming, if there's blue smoke that's come out of it, if it's been in a flood because of a Tusami, tell them, Robert. We don't want it. We don't want it. Right. Straight from the horse's mouth. Now, but if, if it's making noise or if it's leaking, we'll take it. We'll, we'll take it and fix it for you. Otherwise, don't send us dead motors because, like, you know, I mean, everybody's just going to get aggravated and you're going to be like, dude, you know what I mean? It's not going to be fixed. But that's how you change a seal. All right. So, spotpumprepair.com. Joseph Tamargo. Robert, we'll see you on the next video. All right, thanks for taking a look close. We'll show you one more time what the seal looks like. Remember to visit poolandspa.com TV. Wet head pump repair, eat pump repair, green pump parts. There's another one of our websites where you can buy used and recycled pump parts. And also be sure to check out Pump Repair Magazine as well. Okay, this is Joe Tamargo replacing the cow spa seal. Everything is available at spawnpumprepair.com. See you on the next video. Peace!